So for the third time in a row this so for the third time in a row this year, the New York Mets got swept. This time by their crosstown rival, the New York Yankees. But what killed them them this time around? Let's see. Well, for one, let's start with Monday's game where Max wasn't up to snuff. That was bad enough. But to be honest, last night's game was a footnote compared to what happened tonight. We were supposed to have Jacob DeGrom on the mound. Instead, Buck pulls him at the last minute and replaces him with Tywin Walker. Well, Walker had a decent outing of five innings, two runs coughed up. In his first game back, and he didn't get hit with in five and two-thirds innings in his first game back without getting hit with the decision. The problem was afterwards. Bottom seven, he, instead of keeping Seth Lugo around, he brings in Joely Rodriguez to face the bottom of the order. Or instead of Amon Avino. And it bites him in the ass. Throwing that neither team was really putting on putting their best foot forward tonight. But the Mets more so than the Yankees. These were not putting their best foot forward tonight. There was no logic in bringing in Joely over Ottavino. Had it been the other way around, then maybe the Yankees would have only won three to two as opposed to four to two again. But no. Buck instead went with a hand that cannot hold the line, where Ottavino more often than not can. Buck, I normally, I have let you off the hook these last several months, weeks. But tonight, I have to go full out. What you pulled tonight had no logic behind it. Use your damn head, not your heart in that situation. It was a tie game, and I would have preferred it if you went to Ottavino instead of Joely Rodriguez in the seventh. There was no point behind that move. Now, Atlanta will be, at best, two and a half behind behind the Mets, behind you guys, if the Pirates can even salvage tomorrow afternoon's game. And at worst, and at worst, a game and a half behind. And you're lucky Atlanta's got a day off on Thursday, so we really need a rebound against Colorado to sweep the fucking Rockies at best. At worst, take three out of four. That it is, Raph. Our magic number is still stuck at 36 because the Mets couldn't capitalize on various opportunities tonight. You go fuck yourself, Keurig. And we've got ourselves a troll in the form of Crackhead Street Doomer. As I was saying, as I was saying before, so we really interrupted before I had to check some out on my Discord server, which has been being pelted by spam accounts with the old trolls, new and old. Here's my point. Buck, you screwed the pooch 
big time tonight. I like Rodriguez pitch. Pitch the seventh to start it. I mean, you can also blame Alonzo for missing the catch. So we've kept an extra run off the board. But that being said, you should have known Joelle couldn't hold the line. This is something I accuse Rojas of doing in bolt in spades last year, not using logic with the bullpen. And the reason I sound a little downwind tonight, I've been fighting a bit of a cold. I've been fighting a cold the past 24 to 36 hours. So that's why I sound a little coarser than I normally do. More coarse than I normally do. Or my nose has been blocked up. Whichever one is the case. My mom says my head's not warm. You know, I do look a little... Tell me, guys. Do I look a little glassy-eyed on screen or no? Not lately, and personally, the last urgent care doc, I don't trust because I thought I had an ear infection, and she said it looked fine. I don't want to get into that story of what happened last week, okay? That said, I just want to get this all done and done tonight. Buck, you've got 48 hours to recover and get this team off its ass. Box also got a hamstring issue. I don't know what that's all about. But you better get that looked at and looked at soon. Because if this doesn't stop, things are going to get pretty bad. I'm not one to hit the panic button yet. I mean, this team did try to fight back, but it just fell short the finish line again. Leave a comment, smash the like, sub to the channel. That's 228 signing out. Goodbye. Good fucking night. Hey, and let's hope we can do something against the, the Rockies and the fucking Dodgers coming up.